Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs channel. If you're new here, and if you're not new here, then welcome one and all, and please consider subscribing to this channel, and consider also liking these videos, if you do like these videos. Share them, give us a comment. With that said, let's get into today's video. So, James Bradbury is expected to be released from the New York Giants the cap-strapped New York Giants. They just can't afford the not even 30-year-old yet cornerback. The cornerback is basically a, I mean, he's a Pro Bowl elite quarterback, uh, corner, quarterback, cornerback, and he is expected, like I said, to be released from the New York Giants. He was drafted by, guess what, the Carolina Panthers back in 2016 under Ron Rivera, and he has been a fine cornerback in the league since then. Um, you know, you take a look at his 2021 stats. He's had uh, 43 solo tackles. He had four interceptions. He was targeted 92 times. Uh, he's only allowed uh, 60 receptions, and that was tied for sixth uh, place in the NFL. Um, he is elite in several categories. He is elite in stops. Um, uh, he is elite in few missed tackles. Uh, he's elite in uh, passer ratings allowed and yards per reception. So he is a shutdown type of cornerback. Um, and so, you know, he definitely, if he is somebody that you can go out and pursue, and the Washington Commanders are expected to pursue. James Bradbury. Now, you know, certainly a lot of fans are going to be like, we can't be wrapping up a lot of money into James Bradbury when we should be centering all of our money toward Terry McLaurin. And I definitely understand that. You know, does that make me nervous about us not pursuing Terry McLaurin? Yes, it does. It, it does. But we have to trust that the Washington Commanders are doing their best to get Terry McLaurin signed. And, you know, I mean... As Ron Rivera did say during the draft, they have been in talks with Terry McLaurin's agent, so they are discussing, they are negotiating right now, so I have all the confidence in the world that things will get done with Terry McLaurin. So that aside, we do need some elite corners on our secondary. You know, I still have some faith that uh, Benjamin St. Juice will develop into a fine cornerback, but to have somebody like uh, Bradbury on our team would be very exciting indeed. And certainly coming in and, you know, playing for Ron Rivera, I think that Bradbury would definitely want to come back and play for the coach that drafted him. And so I, I feel like we have an inside track with him as well. So with that said, what do you guys think? Do you think that Bradbury would be a good fit in Washington? Do you think it's a shoe in because he was an ex-Panther? Let me know in the comments below as always. Thank you for joining us here, and I will see you in the next one. Yes. Hell to the Washington Commanders. Let's go Maniacs.